What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, John from the Game here. Welcome you back to another episode of the Danganronpa Let's Play. We are on Chapter 4 out of 6. We are kind of sailing through, um, and I don't know. This is crazy. Also, I really hope that I moved the window and didn't, like, record that one, that last episode awfully. I'm going to have to check that. Cause, but I saved already, so there's no going back. I just have to fix it in editing if I did. Anyways, in the last episode, um, we got hit by an assailant. Um, we also got, uh, you know, Kyoko. We hung out with her. We made her emotional, which is not good. Um, and we finally saw the 16th character. Don't know who that is. And we are pretty certain the spy is sakura but we do have to talk to sakura and confirm that information before we make any predisposed judgments anyways to the bathhouse we go because we have to talk to alter ego we have to talk to alter ego game oh wait i'm not discovering anything i can just walk in <laughs> yes fundamentals of the game they matter. Uh, Toko, why are you in here? When I got to the dressing room, Toko was sitting on the bench along with a laptop in front of her. Toko, did you decide to come here? What Alter Ego had to say too? I, I, I already heard it with my master. With master? You don't have to keep saying it. Anyway, what do you want to do now? Right now? Shut up! You're bothering me. Get out of my way. We and we have to talk to Alter Ego now. No, no, no. I made a master a p -p promise. A promise. Master told me to b wait here, so that's what I'm do to doing. What are you his dog or something? If if it's b -b what master wants, I'd do anything he he asks. You just love being mistreated, don't ya? Well, well, fine. If you really want me gone, by all means. Hey guys, what's going on? Uh, we'd like you to move. Uh, sure thing. Just kneel before me and beg. First a mega masochist, and now a super sadist. Genocide Jack is sitting in front of the laptop. I can't get to it. Well, I guess, but I have no ch we have no choice but to force. A shot to the face would stand out, S so go for the gut. But she's a girl. Who cares? I already got a mountain of lawsuits waiting for me when I get out. What's one more? Hey, Afro Thunder, you got any bright ideas, okay? You totally not adorable. You're totally not adorable. So I'll make you live, uh, live when I. St I so I'll make sure you live when I stab you. It'll hurt like hell. I'm strong against women and children, but not women and children that seem strong. This guy's the worst. Um, Toko, seriously, I, I'm asking you nicely to let us use the laptop. What, 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 what? Did you hear what I said? I told you to kneel and beg. Come on, Makoto. Give her an old one-two combo. One, drop to your knees. Two, pshit. Why are you acting like you're not part of this? I was I was as desperate as I felt. I finally did kneel down in front of her and I said, Please, I'm begging you. Will you let me use us, us use the laptop? <laughs> Such an ultra miraculous feeling of happiness. Oh my better banger at master for abusing me is evaporating. So even you realize it's abuse. That should be enough, alright. Let's hurry up and talk to Alter Ego. Okay. Everyone, come closer. I already told Biakia, but I was finally able to crack open all the files that were on this laptop. Sorry to have kept you all waiting. Correct. Just what I thought. I finally, the time has come. Um, um I'm kind of starting to get nervous. I felt the same way. Resting on the keyboard, my hands were started to shake. Move. The single word was like a sharpened blade. Wounded it. I moved to the ta let her take over. So Here we go. Kyoko Bian Kan typing the words, appearing as fast as I could read them. Can you tell us what you found out? 
Sure. I analyzed the files and extracted all of them for the use useful information I could find. And one particularly important fact I discovered was that a certain plan had been put into effect here to isolate the students of Hope Peak Academy and create a communal life for them. That was the stated goal of the plan. But it was meant to be more than just a normal school life. The students were intended to live out the rest of their lives here. But that's is exactly the situation we found ourselves in. It's quite unthinkable, isn't it? And what's more, the one who came up with the plan was none other than the administrators of Hope Peak themselves. What? Wait, hold on! Then the reason we've been imprisoned here? It wasn't the work of a psycho freak or a criminal organization or whatever. It was the school itself? That doesn't make any sense. Why would they do that? I don't think Alter Ego is finished. Perhaps we should hear the rest. It seems the reason they devised this plan was because of what happened one year ago. This is how they described that event. They said it was the biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. What does that mean? Yeah, what kind of name is that for something? Otherwise known as the tragedy, it appears some of sort of devastating occurrence. Because of the tragedy, Hope Speak Academy was forced to discontinue its role as a school and close down. I see. Things are finally starting to make sense. What this means is one year ago, this thing, this tragedy, took place. And whatever it was, it forced Hope Peak, Hope Peak to shut down. From there, they decided to use the school as some kind of staging ground. They planned it to sequester the students here, where they would live out the rest of their lives. But why was Hope Peak's administrators want, would, why would Hope Peak's administrators want to shut everyone in in like this? And what could this tragic event have possibly been? In a flash, Kyoko began typing their questions into the computer. And the answer we got was, Sorry, I don't know. That information was, if that information was ever on this computer, it's gone now. I'm totally useless. I'm sorry. That's all he said. Then if this really is the end, we get halfway through the answer and that's it. Indeed. It would appear so. Disappointing. Oh, wait. There's one other thing I forgot to mention. I think it might be important. I believe it is what has to it has to do with the mastermind. The mastermind. Kyoko's fingers move faster than they had so far. Did you figure out the mastermind's identity? Sorry. No. That I still don't know. But I did find a clue. The one leading the Hope Peak staff, the one who finalized the plan to isolate you, was the Hope Peak's headmaster. It is the same person that very well that may very well be the mastermind who planned this all out. And according to the finals or files, the headmaster is a man in his late thirties. It seems possible that even likely that he's somewhere in the school right now. Headmaster? The headmaster is here in the school? Okay. Then that's gotta be the mastermind. I mean, Monokuma's been calling himself the headmaster, right? Which makes the real headmaster that much more suspicious. But if we break the, down the door to his room, we're dead, right? So what are we supposed to do? I'll find a way. Huh? No matter what it takes, I'll f I will find the headmaster. N no matter what the cost. Kyogo, what's going on? I can't explain why. I just know what I have to find that I have to find him. She has to. Kyoko, what's going on with you? When she heard about the headmaster, her reaction was almost violent. So then. We should see if Alter Ego has any more information. That seemed to be her attempt to regain her composure, composure as she started typing again. Did you learn anything else? Sorry. I am sorry. That is everything that I have found. All the information on this laptop seems to be pretty old, so that's all I can do from here. I am really sorry. Mm. Then it really is all over. Yeah. Wait, Alter Ego seems to have more to say. So, um... um, well... It's kind of a different topic, but I was wondering about something. I haven't seen Celeste, Fumi, and Taka since yesterday. A heavy silence fell across the room. The only sound was the flat, precise clicking key of keys Kyoko typed. They're all dead. What? I see. Certainly knew that there was a possibility, but... It really happened. Sorry. There's no point in me getting depressed over things that I can't do anything about. Well then, I guess that's it. That's it. 
That simple phrase held so much meaning. She began typing again. You've done your job. Thank you. I'm done? I guess I am, huh? Okay, then. then maybe I'll take a little rest. I am kind of tired after all. Goodbye, everyone. See you later. With that, the laptop entered sleep mode. I see. So Alter Ego did everything he could. Indeed. We won't have to talk to him all that much anymore. But, but I feel kind of sorry for him. You feel sorry. But he's just a computer program, right? Yeah. I know, but he still, he did everything he could for us, you know? Mm. I mean, yeah, it did. But that's what a computer program is designed to do. You don't tell a computer a good job every time you shut it down, do you? Mm. Well, no. But when we talked to Alter Ego, I guess, I guess I just didn't see it that way. I know what you mean. I feel the same way. Hey, come on. It's just a program. You can tell the difference between a program and a friend, right? But you know what the difference between us and the program? What's the difference between us and the program, really? Huh? I started thinking about how you would differentiate a person in an AI. Alter Ego isn't human. I know that. I, it's just a program running on a computer. But at the same time, I couldn't help but think of him as our friend. Right. Yeah, he's no different from us. He's still our friend. I think... Maybe I understand where you're coming from. <laughs> then there's no problem calling him a friend. After all, the more friends the merrier, right? Check it out. Friendship has no survival value. Instead, it gains value to survival. No. Anyways. What? Don't so anyway that it's totally smart and cool thing when, that I quoted from I don't remember where. Hey. Anyway, there's nothing more Alter Ego can do to help us. As such, his role in this is over. Am I wrong about that? No, but... And frankly, I question the ease with which you decide who is and isn't your friend. Do you really mean that? Wait. This story gotten, the story's gotten off track. We should go over what Alter Ego said one more time. Uh, um... Yeah, good idea. What was that Hope Peak staff thinking? Why are they making us kill each other? Alter Ego said that that happened one year ago is what started everything. Yeah. Yeah, he said it was the biggest, most awful, most hopeless event in human history, right? It must have been a huge incident, whatever it was. But did something like this really happen a year ago? Um. I don't remember anything happening that you could describe that way. What about you guys? I don't really watch the news, so... Sorry, nothing comes to mind. That event led to the closing of Hope Speak. If nothing else, it must have been some kind of connection to the school. Maybe all the students here were killed or something. That kind of catastrophe would have been all over the news. At least one of us would remember that. Then maybe they covered it up. That would explain why none of us knew that the school had been shut down. Totally covering up something like that. I suppose it's not totally impossible. What's wrong with our government? Our taxes pay their salaries. They should be handling stuff like that. Maybe, but right now, there's only one path to open, open to us. We have to find the headmaster of Hope Peak Academy. We have to find him and make him tell us everything. As long as we can get our hands on him, I think. Kyoko. When she said headmaster, I got that feeling again. But even that is a problem not easily solved. Yeah, you're right. Well, our business is done here, so for now we should get out of here. Oh yeah, good idea. Then I... Huh? Is it really that dusty? Wait, I mean... Oh, no, no, no. I'm not waiting anymore. I'm not guarding it. Byakia's gonna be, be, be so mad at me. Let's avoid getting involved any further. Good call. But as we left the dressing room, someone was there waiting for us. My heart is pound, pound, pounding away. It's pounding with anger. You're not so mad at the whole breaking into the headmaster's room thing, are you? Oh, that little matter doesn't matter even a little. And I'm a little jealous of you guys enjoying an incident mixed bath. But that doesn't matter either. It's building. I feel it building. My head's about to boil over with rage. Don't get so angry. Here, let me help center your chakras. Oh. Ugh, 
this on the walls of your brain. Okay, when you do something to me, I'll do it right back. An eye for an eye, a fang for a fang. A fang for a fang? Be careful. He just chanted the incantation of devastation. No, it's just a saying. Oh, I see. What was he talking about? Oh, it just changed to nighttime. I saw the nighttime thing in the corner. So then it's nighttime. What does everyone else want to do? Celeste was the one who suggested our nighttime rule, but she's gone now. I think we should still avoid being out at nighttime. I know it makes me feel better that way. I agree. Well, very well. In that case, time for bed. So everyone headed back to their rooms. Monokuma parting words left me feeling anxious for the rest of the night. Yeah, Monokuma was very, very mad at us. Once I was back in my room, I got lost in thought. What we learned from Alter Ego kept spinning around in my mind. The administrator of Hope Peace Academy had planned all of this. They did it because of the tragedy, which had happened a year before. And apparently the headmaster is the one behind it, the mastermind. All of these mysteries had me worried, but I still have to try and unravel them bit by bit. I'm sure the road will be long and tough, but I don't have any other choice. Well, I mean, dying is a choice, but I don't want to do that either. Hmm. We got a crab. Let's talk a little bit about where I was before I became a bear. At first... I was a total loss. I just had no idea where I should become, what I should become. The lady in tech support department suggested I try to being a shrimp. And she was like, oh, the company has been trying to push this forever. It would be a really incredible offer. And then she laid out all the details. I turned. It turned out it was going to be a tiger prawn like I'd hoped, but it wasn't a tiger prawn like I'd hoped, but like a little popcorn shrimp. That was totally tiny. I would have been the world's smallest mascot. Like, I like eating shrimp. I didn't want to be one myself. Plus, might s someone might come along and step on me. So then the lady started laughing at me and was like, you think you could do a tiger prawn? She was like, you think we can do a tiger prawn on our budget? So ultimately, I decided to become a bear instead. The secret origin story of Monokuma. First things first, I need to head to the dining hall. Yes, we do. I want to talk to both of them, but I think I'm just going to head straight to the dining hall. I don't see a reason not to. As I entered the dining hall, the first thing I saw was her. What are you sis staring at? Oh, Toko. What do you think your eyes will rot by looking at me? Fine, then don't look at me. I think he's just surprised to see you here at the breakfast meeting after all. Indeed, it's been quite a while since you've joined us. Yeah, what made you change your mind? Biakia said... He l likes girls who have some m meat on their bones. So I'm going to start eating and force it d d down into my stomach. I'm going to eat till I d d drop. Okay. I refuse to l lose. I wouldn't do that if I were you. Well, other than that, it looks like Kyoko isn't here. You know? Oh, she said she'd come by later. Later? You know? Yeah, after you leave. She's not even trying to hide it anymore. I know I said she wanted I know I said she wanted you to show some backbone, but you didn't need to show her that much. You dirty Makoto, dirty president dirty of dirty land. You don't understand. 
You're the type who takes the stairs of love three steps at a time, aren't you? I'm telling you, it's not like that. Did you just shut up already, Hina? You've been running your f filthy mouth like that all m morning. Filthy? Me? Don't m make me repeat m myself. I'm not filthy. It's no, no, no use denying it. We can also see how disgusting you are. Sh shut up. Uh, you and your lusty body of yours. Night after the night, you go out of your elect club meetings. Hey, you knock it off. I can't deal with the dirty stuff like that. Your m midnight <laughs> sextacular activities only put it even, us even m more in danger. S stop it. You'd like me to st stop, wouldn't you? Your sweaty hands gripping the big fat chalk. T -t tight. Going for all of the extra credit. Your screams like a screech of a violated blackboard. And, and, ah, uh, it's an am amazing incident. Ideas are c coming to me one after another. So, would you rather have a black eye on the left or the right? Hey, so sorry, sorry, sorry. Hey, Let's leave Toko alone. She's gone a little funny from her pent-up frustration. Anyways, you and Kyoko need to make up already, you know? Yeah, I know. I mean, of course I want things to get better as soon as possible. But with everything that's gone on, I haven't had a chance to talk to her about what I saw. Before anything, I need to talk to Sakura about it. <laughs> Cheer up, man. It's not a big deal if a girl doesn't like ya. It's better than having one sue ya like I did. Jeez, hero, you've lived a pretty brutal life. Ugh, I feel all dizzy. Seriously, I can't handle the dirty stuff like that. Huh? Hina seems like... It looks like Hina has an unexpected weakness. That reminds me of a friend that I have. Sorry, 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 sorry. Don't hit me like you... D don't hit me, don't hit me, don't hit me, don't hit me. If you want to hit something, hit Master. Please hit, hit him. Oh, please, please. And let me w watch you hit him. I think it's best that I stay far, far away from her. Um, Sakura? What is it? Can you make some time later? I was hoping I could talk to you. Uh, now that Kyoko dumped him, Koda's trying to get with going trying to win Sakura's heart. <laughs> are you in he 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 Makoto? I don't care who they are, as long as they've got the right equipment. Watch out, Sakura! Makoto's transformed into a wild beast, Prime Minister Wild Beast of Beastphobia, Beastopia. Why is this happening to me? Can our talk wait till tomorrow? I'd like to get some rest for today. For some reason, I've been feeling worn down these last few days. Huh? Are you sick? Did you get hurt? No, nothing serious. I've just got some minor aches and pains. Huh? It's that. It must be because of that battle. But it must be pretty bad if you have to go rest. Are you sure you're okay? I'm sure a protein shake and some sleep will get me back on my feet. That's true. Protein is good for all kinds of stuff. You guys like worship protein. It's like your god or something. Okay. Makoto, I don't know what you want to talk to Sakura about, but save it for tomorrow. She's in pain. Yeah, I got that much. Sorry. Sorry. You know? Well, for now, let's eat. Mm. Eat, eat. I'm kind of n n nervous. Huh? huh? How come? Because I don't usually eat in front of other people. Ever since I was a kid, I'd eat b by myself. What? What about your family? Oh, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. I used to live with my d -d dad and my mom and m m mom. You had two moms? What? That's just how the things were. That's like a serious issue. Just let it go. You're asking for trouble getting involved with her more than you have to. How dare you speak to me with that d d disgusting mouth of yours. Stop saying stuff like that. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and eat. If I don't, Kyoko will never show up. Pretty miserable situation, man. <laughs> 
I scarfed down breakfast as fast as I could and immediately headed back to my room. Oh, wow. I'll have to wait till tomorrow to confront Sakura about what I saw. But in a way, I'm kind of relieved. It takes a lot of courage to stand face to face with Sakura and re accuse her of something. Free time! We got here faster than I expected to get here. Like, I actually, my goal was to get just to the free time section. But the fact that we can actually do one of the free times is really nice. I'm assuming they're all going to be on the fourth floor, because per usual, they're typically on all on the top, the highest floor that I can reach. So I'm just going to automatically check the fourth floor. Uh, Kyoko, I really want to talk to you. It's weird that there's only six left besides myself. Where's Sakura? Excuse me? Oh, Sakura's resting. That's right. So it's these five. One of these five we have to... Hmm. I'm gonna go talk to Kyoko. She might not want to talk to me. And if she doesn't, that's completely understandable. As much as that would be completely unfortunate. Kyoko! It said you were over here. Kyoko, I'm the type of person that goes looking for people that I want to talk to. There you are. Anyway. I'm busy. I don't have time to waste. I had a feeling. Okay. Well, my second option then. If I can get my direction straight. Kina, I want to be part of your best friend click. Pushing on him doesn't help. Smacking him doesn't help. What the heck with the what's the heck with those things? Oh, sorry. I was talking about the metal plates covering all the windows. Uh, I know. We should try grabbing the top and yanking him down. Should I have Kina? Yes. You got it. You want to spend some stretches with me? Or you want to do some stretches with me? Yes. I followed Hina's lead and did some elaborate stretching. Hi, Hina and I grew a little closer today. Would you like to give Hina a present? Sure. What could we give Hina? That is in our repertoire of things. Hmm. Leaf covering. The pants. I want to know what the pants are. Yeah, no. Designed solely for those who want to control who in control of their buttocks. For better or worse, it's unis unisex. That's almost worse. Can we give somebody the same item twice? That's a very good question. A water, uh, here, have a water flute. A unique type of flute. You pour water into the base and blow into the top, which can create a variety of sounds similar to a chirping bird. Hmm. 
Yeah, how about that? I don't know if you're gonna like this, but it has something to do with water. Hey, thanks, I'm super stoked. Does that mean she liked it? Is something wrong, Hina? I've, re I've reached my limit. I'm stuck in here. I can't do any sports. Can't do anything. I'm sick of it. I want to get out under the sun and do some laps. Run a marathon. I want to do real sports. Hina, calm down, okay? I can't do anything in here. I can't move around. I'm going to die like a bunny rabbit. But I've always heard rabbits die from loneliness. Whatever. If I'm going to die, I'm going to die if I can't get some proper physical activity. Don't you think that's a little extreme? You think I'm kidding, don't you? But seriously, I can't sit still, you know? Why else? What I have, why else would I have joined six sport teams in school? Six? Yeah, track, beers, basketball, softball, volleyball, tennis, and the big one. The big one? She got to her main sport and ran out of juice. But I think that's going to be swimming. Your main sport's swimming, right? Yeah, you got it. Ugh, I don't even care what stroke, it is, what stroke it is. I just get in the pool under the big blue sky. But isn't that hard to do with many sports, even you? Or that many sports even for you? If I can't move, I'll just dribble off and die. Any, I need the challenge. The more and more new stuff I to try, a challenge. What I really love about sports is, isn't is winning, you know? It's having a fight to fight and struggle and give it all you've got to reach the top. And that's the excitement. That fear that you must fight, suffer, heartbreaking losses. It's lonely at the top, you know? I've never really gotten into sports, so I couldn't really relate to what she is talking about. But I could tell that the reason Hina was so amazing was how hard she could fight and struggle. So that's why I wanted to push myself as hard as possible when it comes to swimming. I want to aim for the very highest mountaintop. The highest mountaintop, huh? I'm talking about a gold medal, of course. I aim for the gold, even if that means a super gold spaz. Did she just call herself? Okay, but if that's what you want, isn't that all more the, re or all more the reason? If you have a goal, why are you standing around making excuses? Excuses? Hey, what do you mean by ex what? I didn't make any excuses. Sure, but we're stuck here right now with no way out. But if you really want to make an effort, shouldn't you try to do what you can in here? Oh. <gasps> Th that's a challenge. You've just made an official challenge. Yeah, totally. But I think you're right. If I want to get the gold medal, I have to make every effort I can. And even if I want, I want to become a genius of effort. I bet Ian Thorpe said something like that. Okay. Yeah, I can't go around making excuses just because we're stuck in here. All right, I think I'm going to do some push-ups in my room. Like, maybe a thousand or something. Almost before she was done talking, Hina took off like a bat out of hell. She recovered exactly as fast and as strong as I would have expected. Hina's report card experience has updated and my skill points have increased. Honestly, I think this is a pretty good time to end it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, in the next episode, we're going to finish up the free time section and do a, a couple of other things. But sounds like we're in free time mode. So we are in a very interesting mode for this chapter. Um, we will see you guys in the next episode when we figure out what the heck is going on. Because I doubt this chapter is this short. Anyway, love you all. Bye.